Welcome back. Hope you had a nice week. We continue these conversations about the environment and today we talk about educating environmentally friendly children, leading by example, teach them how to be responsible for the planet and also make them aware of the bad habits. So stick around. And uh, to start uh, to start up our talking of today, um, we talk about leading by example. We all know that children um, follow what their parents do, what the adults around them do, what educators, grandparents, etc. Because that's the way they learn. They learn by copying other uh, people, what adults do. So if we really want to educate uh, our children to be aware of the planet and to be mindful of the planet, I think it should start on us. Definitely the change starts on us and the change comes from us. If we um, don't do it, if we don't um, lead by example, we won't or we cannot expect our children to do differently because that's what they do, that's what they know. They copy us, they copy what they see at home. If you don't do your recycling, if you just waste paper and if you don't care about um, the resources you use, of course your child is not going to be mindful of that because they will think, okay, that's, that's what I should do, that's the normal. And um, I should not be uh, caring much about this because my mom and dad does not do it. Of course, um, school and childcare and uh, all these facilities have a huge impact as well. And um, they also have their play in this, um, in this leading by example. So uh, it is important that both parents and educators work together in order to educate a much better and a more environmentally friendly generation, which is what we all need. And how do we teach them to be responsible? Well, um, we uh, make them aware that they are responsible for the planet, that we all are responsible for the planet. We all are responsible for the resources we use. We all are responsible for the wastage that we make. And um, we live in the planet and we have the responsibility to maintain our planet and to respect, most of all, to respect our planet because it's, it's our home, it's where we live. And um, we haven't been done a good deal of care um, for the planet in the last centuries and it is time to start thinking about that and uh, minimizing the horrible effect that we are having in the planet and if we can do that and if we can teach our children to do that maybe the change will will be made because if we if we start now if we start and our children are already educated with these values maybe we we can get this change done in a few generations otherwise it's going to be very complicated and it's simple it's very simple we just um we just teach them how to be responsible um children are very 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 intelligent and they understand you talk to them and they understand what you're saying and if you talk to them in a way that um, it's a serious way and, and you talk to them and you, you teach them things, they like it and they want to receive that knowledge. Um, so if you really tell them there's cartoons, there's uh, books about it, all sorts of things that you can do with your children and you can actually teach them what we should do, what we shouldn't do. For example, um, they love going to the bath and playing in the bath. We should tell them that we shouldn't waste water because it's vital for the planet. And if we waste water, we may not have water to drink in the future. And they will understand that it's nice to have a bath, that it's nice to, to do all, all of those things. But they also have to be mindful of the, of the planet and a resource that it's water 
and that we should be mindful of that. For example, with rubbish, we should teach them how to recycle. It's fun for them if if you teach them how to sort all the, the rubbish and you tell them, look, this is plastic, this is go, goes to recycling, the paper, the, the all the cans, etc. And they will learn They and they will find it funny and there will be um, a very good activity for them and they will they will learn they will um, feel that responsibility because they will feel um, that you teach them, them or you give them, giving them a responsibility and they will feel very happy for that because it's that feeling, oh, my mom and dad are giving me a responsibility, I'm growing up now. And they really feel happy about that and, and they really feel that, oh, okay, now I, I have this responsibility, I have this to do. And they really feel that. And, we also need to teach them how to respect the planet, respect the animals in the planet. Um, when you go to a park, don't encourage your children to frighten the birds like the pigeons and any other wildlife that may be in the park. That's not nice. Um, it may look funny to see your child running after the birds, but for the birds it can, can be quite a frightening experience. So it's not nice and if we teach our uh, kids to respect the animals in the planet and respect everyone around them, they will grow to be much better humans than we've ever been. And I think that's that's the best thing we can ever do. And if we can leave this legacy to the planet, then I think we've done our job. Of course, that schools and childcare have a huge impact on this. For example, I know that a lot of childcare, they have their vegetable patch, which is good because it teaches kids how to be responsible. It teaches kids how to use resources thoroughly and carefully. And they learn how to grow their own vegetables. It's better for them to eat the vegetables because they grow them and they tend to like more uh, uh, vegetables and being around vegetables. Um, it is good to teach them about recycling. I know my, my daughter's childcare is doing that. They're doing a terrific job. I think it's uh, it's a bit uh, uh, in every childcare that's part of the, the, the program and they all do it. And it's very good because they do it, they play, do it in a playful way. And they also learn how, how they should do it, um, what they should do it, and especially why they should do it. And this uh, makes them more responsible and makes, makes them grow with... Um, a better knowledge of the planet we are in and a better and a more respectful attitude towards the planet. And like anyone else or everything else, when you teach someone, either a child or an adult, about something, you should also teach them about the consequences of not doing so. And that is, I believe, one of the major parts in this whole process is that you teach a child what they should do, what is correct and what is uh, their responsibility for the planet. But you also have to make them aware of what has been done before and the consequences of not taking that responsibility and not having these good habits. The consequences, for example, the consequences of the pollution that we make, the consequences of the usage of fossil fuels, for example, the consequences of the rubbish and the wastage that we made and when we not recycle, that all this rubbish will end up in um, landfill and it's very bad. It can reach the water supplies and, and contaminate our water and kill our animals, for example, in the oceans with the plastics. A lot of marine life is dying because of the use of plastics and the wrong disposal of plastics that end up in, in the oceans. And if we teach that to our children, they will see, they will actually see the result of the bad habits, the result of not being responsible and not caring for the planet. And that's a visual thing that um, helped them understand 
uh, why they should do it, why they should take care of the planet. Because if we just say someone, either a child or an adult, you should do this, yeah, okay. They will tell you, yeah, okay, I should do this, but why should I do this? Then you should elaborate and explain, because if you don't do this, you will get that. And this visual effect and this action consequence effect will actually help people understand, oh yeah, I really need to do something about this because that is very bad. And when we see rubbish in, in, in a landfill and, and the pollution it causes, when we see uh, in some countries and in, in, in every country, uh, uh, rubbish in rivers, in oceans, everywhere, um, we see that's bad. We really see that's bad. And if we show this and it's when we, we see, for example, when we go on the street and we see someone uh, tossing rubbish on the floor, we should tell our children, this is what you shouldn't do. We should always go and put the rubbish in the bin. And the children will understand that. And they will understand that we all have that responsibility. If we don't recycle, our rubbish will cause more pollution our rubbish will cause us to waste more natural resources, will probably contaminate all our water, and that's what we don't want. And we, we show our children why we should change. We show them with all the bad habits that have been um, actually killing our planet for centuries, and that we should now act about them and change our habits because we're not doing any good and we really need to change. And I think that if we really show this to a child, they will understand. And that's what, in my view, will make the change. And that's all for today. I hope you like um, today's conversation. And um, if you have uh, any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Or if you would like to share an experience uh, that you've been having with your children, maybe a photo of your veggie patch or um, your little recycling plan, um, please share with us. Um, why not? Share. Share with your friends. Let's make these conversations even bigger. And subscribe the channel so you get a notification of each conversation every week. And for now, I hope you have a wonderful week and um, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.